So I'm going to come out and say it now. Apparently, I'm uncultured. So I sat down with one of my friends not too long ago, and we were scrolling through the PlayStation Store to figure out what games we did play or did not play growing up, and turns out there are a lot that I skipped out on. With a whole bunch of new games releasing this year, I think it's time we get back into playing some campaign games. Hogwarts Legacy releases on February 10th, Star Wars Jedi Survivor releases March 17th, which I still haven't even beat. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I'm like 50% of the way through the game. Dead Island 2 releases April 28th, and... If I'm being completely honest, I'm a bitch. I don't like being scared. I don't, I don't do creepy. I don't do any of that. But this leads me into why I need to get back into campaign games because a lot of people like to see me suffer. I don't know why. If I'm live streaming and or recording, my friends love it. My live streaming community loves to watch me get like scared or see me in a bad mood. I don't know why. Why do you guys love torture? explain if there are any games in particular you guys do want to see me at least make a video on or do a complete playthrough of i will the other thing i'm trying to figure out is do i want to make videos that are super long form or do you want me to cut them down into highlights like funny moments throughout each game because i was thinking about doing like a mix of both where i could stream and upload that full vod and if people want to watch the full unedited thing they can or they could sit back and watch the normal highlight video that's the only part I'm conflicted on. I'm the kind of person that'll start up a campaign, get like more than halfway through it, and then just stop playing the game altogether. Like I, not too long ago, started up Spider-Man and I never finished it. I'm probably 30% of the way through it and it's taken me a year and a half to get 30% of the way. I'm gonna rattle off some games that I have not played and feel free to yell at me in the comment section down below if I do miss any games or if there's anything you wanna see me play in particular. Please let me know because I do want to venture out, even though I love making those Uno and funny moments videos. I got to know what you guys want to see because maybe you don't want to see campaign games. Bioshock, God of War, and I mean any of these games. I've touched Bioshock 1. I played it for 15 minutes and logged off because the big daddy scared me. God of War, never loaded up, never installed it. I know Ragnarok just came out. It looks good, but I'm gonna have to go back and play the 2017 release. The other thing, I don't know if God of War 1, 2, and 3 correspond to the most recent God of War, where it's like a third person, kind of over the shoulder, Last of Us, Uncharted-esque vibe. I don't know, like camera. Metal Gear Solid, which I know, I, have, I don't think there's been a Metal Gear video game, and I don't even, let me look that up. That's Metal Gear, oh, 2018. First release, 19, 1987, 1987? Okay, maybe I underestimated the Metal Gear series. I thought they haven't released anything since like 2011. Any form of Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Skyrim, Elden Ring-esque games. I've never played anything like that. I mean, the games look dope. I never got into any of them. Dead Space, that is one creepy ass game, which I don't know if I'll ever get around to playing. I might give it a shot for a video so you guys could watch me scream in terror because you love torture. Weirdos. Here's another one a lot of people either they have or have not played because it is a PlayStation exclusive title, but Killzone. I never got around to playing that. I have it free on PS5, but I never got around to it. It's been out since 2013 because it was ported from PS4 over. And there have been a couple prior. Once again, I just never played them. Now, I know a lot of you are going to flame me for this, but I've never played a single Fallout game. And while on the topic of flaming me, I've never played Ratchet and Clank either. Do I own them? Yes. Do I play them? No. Spyro's another one of those games. I got maybe a mission in on the second game, skipped the first game, didn't even touch the third game. Got like the second mission in, I closed app and I uninstalled it. But I have redeemed myself because I've beaten every single Crash Bandicoot game. So that you cannot give me crap for, okay? I beat every single Crash Bandicoot game and I sp in I did a speed run of all three games. If you want to check that out, let me know. Video in the description down below. But I did beat all three games in under seven hours. Here's another one. You guys are going to hate me. I've never played Borderlands 1, 2, or 3. I own Borderlands 2 on Steam. Me and a couple friends were gonna play it and we never got around to it. Looking at this list, I'm like, damn. There's a lot of games on here that I have just looked at 
and they've been praised for so long, but I never played them because I stuck to my multiplayer guns and didn't touch anything else campaign wise. Assassin's Creed, one, two, three, four, Ezio, Mirage, uh, Syndicate, any of them. Never touched them, never loaded them, never owned them. Same with all the Red Dead games. Out of 1, 2, and Revolver, I have not loaded up any of them. Do I own the second one? Absolutely. Never loaded it, though. I know that's... From what I do know, I believe that's the technically the first game that leads into the second... Or the second title goes into the first game with playing is morgan and then game one you're playing as john marston but in the second game you're playing as a bunch like a group of outlaws and marston's kind of like your side character don't flame me i don't know this shit i started the last of us part one a couple months ago haven't touched it since i made one video about piss my pants and that was that <laughs> oh boy i just looked at the list titanfall I made a video on Titanfall. I have not played that game since, and the only reason I played that game was because I was told the movement's like Apex Legends, because that's the original creators of Titanfall, which I didn't know that. I just looked at Titanfall, and in the uh, on the cover art, all I saw was a big robot wall running. I thought, holy shit, this game's stupid. But after playing Titanfall 2, pubs, it's actually pretty fun, even though I played it day late and a dollar short because all the servers are dead. It was actually pretty fun. Detroit Become Human, which is arguably, a lot of people argue, this is one of the best campaign games, or at least top five, with all the decisions, kind of like, it. it's practically a Telltale game. That's how I look at it. It's kind of like a Telltale game. You have to make sure you walk around discover clues, make sure you're clicking the button for the right decisions so you don't end up dying or getting someone close to you killed. Detroit Become Human, I've heard, is an a absolutely fantastic game. It's on my list of games because I know a lot of people have given me shit for only scratching the surface of it. It's just I've been so used to being thrown directly into a game with little to no regard as to what the hell is going on. High on Life, I played that. I made one video on it. I stopped playing that game. It's a very linear game. You go one place, you kill one guy, big boss fight. You return back, go to Mr. Keeps, get a new booster pack or a weapon upgrade. You go fight the next boss. That's kind of like the Mafia games, which I've never played any of the Mafia games. It's just like a trail. It's very linear and I could assume it's good, but I could also presume there's probably a lot of blank space that's just filled by driving or traveling to get to these new areas. Spider-Man, I have not beat Spider-Man 1, like I mentioned. Spider-Man 2 is right around the corner. Miles Morales, I didn't beat it, but my older sibling did play on my account and get me everything. So if I were to log into Spider-Man Miles Morales right now, I would get the platinum trophy. Tomb Raider. And don't be too harsh on me, but I see this as the competitor to Uncharted, but it's a lot more violent and gory because I've seen clips of Laura Croft with a spike through her skull and that's, that is unsettling. These are just some of the big heavy hitters of games. There's probably a ton I miss, like Metroid 2033 or Metro something. There's a whole bunch of games out there nowadays. And if you guys want to see me play these in videos, please let me know down below. Sorry that I'm so uncultured. I appreciate the fact that you guys watch me play multiplayer games for so many years. This doesn't mean I'm leaving. This does not mean I'm leaving whatsoever. Get that out of your brain. Send that to the next person. I just want to get back into playing single player games and playing whatever, having fun, having a grand old time, cracking jokes, doing what I normally do. I'm recording this video on January 23rd. I don't know when this is coming out, probably right before the release of Hogwarts Legacy. We'll see what happens, but my uncultured ass is get to playing some campaign games, so I'm ready. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.